Rach is rolling around in pain in bed. So things escalated really quickly. She is crazy pain, can't talk. He said he's calling surgery and they're doing an ultrasound. And then mom and I are gonna have to go and she's gonna have to get surgery. And they're gonna cut her open right here. All right, tell us good morning. I don't know if I'm gonna send this out or not. It's 3 a.m. Rach is rolling around in pain in bed. She's been doing it since midnight. It's three in the morning now. We're doing everything we can, but I'm gonna take her to the hospital. She's been having pain in her stomach for years now. So we're gonna go to the hospital and see if they can figure this out. She's been going to doctors and we've been doing all this. We haven't ever mentioned any of it, but we've been doing all this for years, trying to get this figured out now. She can't even sleep. Oh, okay. I won't put her on for very long. Okay. So things escalated really quickly. She is crazy pain, can't talk. I'm just gonna document this for the kids. It might go up on YouTube. Rach said she wants it up there to record what's going on. So if other people have this issue, they can find the video. She also said, please record this so I can see what I look like when I go through this. I'm not gonna record those parts though. So truck is parked, going back into the ER. And there's three things that this could be. I really hope it's not number two or three. All right, back inside. Uh, I'm not gonna ask how you're doing because you know how you're doing. She's all banded up and ready to go. How are you feeling now? I'm down to an eight. I'm pretty sure we got to like a 10 in the car. And you've had six kids? Oh gosh, yeah. Okay, well. It's my, it's my labor, man. That like at least goes away for a few minutes. Doctor just did a bunch of stuff. He pushed my owie stomach. And mom winced in pain, even I though bet, she's a rock star. I bet, I bet smacked him because it hurt. Um, and he said he's calling surgery and they're doing an ultrasound and then a CAT scan. He thinks he knows what it is, but they're gonna like run a whole bunch of tests now. So it is now four in the morning, running tests. I don't know, I don't know if emergency surgery is gonna be. Oh, it sounds horrible. He said, and we might have to call a surgery and yank that thing out of ya. Qu quote, that is verbatim. And he said, how does that sound? And what did you say? Uh, uh, how do you answer that? What? Uh, yank what out of me? So, yeah, we'll keep, keep this little vlog going. How's it going now? You can't feel my fingers. Oh, because oh, they're <laughs> testing your pressure? Mm-hmm. Okay. You okay? You got all the heavy... I'm, I'm equipped. I'm ready. Everyone is in here to help, and she's gonna go get an ultrasound. Don't lift your head. Happy. Don't don't lift your head. But she poked. She just there was a lot of pushing on the tummy, and it, even with drugs, it didn't feel good. Did she tell you no, if they, they saw didn't anything? Say anything? She didn't say anything. I did ask if she could see. Like I said, in an ultrasound, can you see if there's like stones or whatever? And she said, Yeah, we could. And that was it. And then she said, Someone will come in. They got her a lot of stuff right now. So she's talking slow. 
the thing about rage is drugs really, really, really affect her. Um, she had to have surgery five years ago to stitch some of her abdomen back together because they had split because of the babies. And the drugs were crazy. Nausea, fatigue, everything for weeks. It was pretty intense. So I'm gonna let her rest. It is now almost 5 a.m. And I'm gonna hold her hand because she's requesting that. It's 5.30, we're still here. She's finally asleep. <clears throat> Drugs have kicked in. They're reviewing ultrasounds, blood tests, other types of tests they ran, other things they took. And they're gonna get back to us with a surgeon and a main doctor to tell us what is going on. She was in tons of pain until the drugs kicked in. Once the drugs kicked in, her heart rate went way below normal because Rach does have really low blood pressure. And so, yeah, I went over to massage her head and she dropped down below 50, which is pretty low. So alarm bells started going off. I'm like, oh, well. So now she's at a good rest rate. And just kicking it until we know what's going on, so. So, Rach has a bad gallbladder. There's like stuff in her gallbladder and stones in her gallbladder and all of that, but it's not leaking liquids into her body. So it's not enough of an emergency to rush her into surgery because this hospital is full because of COVID. And so they have some beds, but they are reserved for emergency emergencies. And since this isn't quite an emergency, we have to wait one hour, then call the surgeons and have them schedule us at their location instead of in the hospital in the ER where all the COVID people are staying on respirators. So it's kind of crazy. We have to go home, wait an hour, call to then go back. But these are the times we live in. We definitely want to leave those beds open if it's not a crazy emergency. But I can say this, this rock star is in a ton of pain. She's not feeling awesome. And so we have to take care of this and figure it out. Good thing it's not leaking stuff and that it is a super emergency because there's other things that happen when liquids from one organ go into the rest of the body that's definitely not amazing. So keep you updated. They're telling me it's time to take this girl home, but I don't think she can even open her eyes. Nope. So we're just gonna hang a little bit longer, okay? They're getting her a wheelchair. We're gonna wheel her out of here and then call the surgeons. Now it's raining, so we'll get rained on when we get in the truck. This has just been quite an eventful evening um oh there we go get all this done and then we have to go through the crap of surgery for rage go 2020 all right got home nobody's still awake um got the home all ready for rage i'm gonna go to the truck i'm gonna carry her inside you able to move yet can I just carry you? Okay. okay. So we're back home. None of the kids are awake. Nobody's awake. We have some friends staying with us, which made it awesome so we could leave. And if we had to be there for a long time, our friends could take care of the kids. Um, but nobody's awake. So now I don't know how to break it to everyone when they come in. I don't know if they'll believe us that we literally spent the entire night and morning in the ER. Um, so I called the surgeons and I left a message and then I got a text back from them saying, we got your information. When the surgeons arrive, we will give you a schedule oh, and tell you when 
we can schedule her to come in and have her gallbladder removed. So I'll break this to the kids and I'll get back on and tell you guys when we need to make that schedule and when that does get scheduled. So once the kids get up, I'll film me telling them to see how they react and kind of show you how we talk and how we're honest and open and we tell everything bluntly but with good bedside manner, I guess. Um, yeah, stay tuned. All right, you guys, do I look tired right now? Yes. So mom woke me up at two in the morning and she was in a lot of pain. So I tried to help her. I tried to do anything I could. At three in the morning, she was like yelling. She was in so much pain. The stomach pains that she was in? No, it's like right up under her ribs, right here on the right side. So we left to the ER. We didn't get home from the ER until eight in the morning. Right, what time is it? Oh, seven in the morning. My truck's clock was off. Um, so doctors did all sorts of tests. They did an ultrasounds. They did CAT scans, all sorts of stuff. And they have to do surgery on mom. So, but they couldn't because there's too many. They needed all the extra beds as emergency beds for COVID. So they sent us home with mom and all sorts of drugs. So she's thrown up like nine times since she got home from the hospital. So we have to call the surgeon in an hour and then mom and I are gonna have to go and she's gonna have to get surgery and they're gonna cut her open right here and they're gonna pull out something called her gallbladder. Your gallbladder produces like acid and other stuff, but hers, because the way her body produces stuff, has been creating stones and crystals that it kicks out every once in a while and then it goes through mom's system and then she poops them out. And that's what's been hurting her so bad for the last two years. So those stones have been coming out into her system and she can feel them going through, but they're not so big. They can get as big as a golf ball. Hers have been like this. So big enough that she feels them and it feels uncomfortable. She's not sure what's going on, but not big enough that it's like stops everything and she has to run to the hospital. So can you guys help me and be awesome today? Is she getting her surgery today? No, I think she'll have to be in bed all day today. When is she getting her surgery? I have to call and then I'll schedule it. And so once I'll schedule it, then we'll go over the whole rest of this process and surgery and mom being unavailable for a couple days. So, any questions? What should we do? Should clean and organize, get school done, um, and just say prayers for mom. Okay. Okay guys, I'm gonna end this right here. Um, we'll see what happens in the next stage. If we are able to film it, we will. If it's not appropriate, we won't. Um, we'll see, there'll probably be a part two. Mom really likes documenting all this stuff, so. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for part two. Say prayers for mama, and talk to you soon.